Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a rectangle which matches the dimensions of the front of the box. To do that, I'm simply going to click over here on the rectangle tool and then move over to the open space on my file. I'm going to click the mouse one time and I'm going to set the width of the box so it matches this box here. Now I know for a fact the box is 4.5 inches wide, but I'm going to set the height to be 6 inches to match this. Pressing your tab key simply bounces around and don't worry about whether or not you finish the statement. If your default settings and preferences are set to inches, it will automatically finish it for you. Even if you don't have inches set here, if you simply typed in the quotation symbols, it would automatically calculate in inches. More on that in a few minutes. Press the OK button and here's our rectangle. Now it doesn't make any difference what color you make the box, but you want to make sure that you're using a color that's somewhat common to the colors you're using on your actual product. We'll start with this. Let's go up to the effects menu now and go to 3D and choose the command extrude and bevel. Now when extrude and bevel shows up, you'll see that it's set to the position for off axis front. You've got this for the rotation for the X, the Y, and as well as the rotation on this here. So what we'll do is that we're going to go now and change the extrude so that it matches the width of the side panel. Now, right now, this is all going to pixels, but like I said before, you can kind of give Illustrator a little bit of a trick and then give it a math problem and it will figure out the answer for you. So if I know for a fact that the width of this is across from here to here, two inches, I simply put in a two and my quotes, and then I go ahead and then I press the preview button and you'll see that my two inch box is generated here with the height that I need. Thank you.